Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a long column and condition is when the column size is known. We have to design this column having a size of 450 by 300 mm and it is subject to a load of ultimate load is there. We have already calculated the ultimate load is 1600 kN. Value of LEX that is effective length in X direction is given. 6 meter LEY is given and MX1 is the movement at the top in the x direction and mx2 movement at the bottom in x direction same is my1 and my2 we will calculate it right at the bottom the column is double curvature and the assumed cover is 50 mm and use m30 and fe415 we have to put our data in these pink cells firstly we will check for it is a short column or long column then step 2 is calculation of additional movement because in the cylinder column there is an additional movement max and may value by these formulas it will be calculated calculation of puz we have to assume the percentage of steel we are going to provide between 0.8% and 0.6% right so puz will be calculated we have to calculate the pbx and pby value to calculate the reduction factor kx and ky which will be multiplied by the max and may then the final MAX and final MAY value will be calculated. Initial movements that is MUX1, MUY1 we have to calculate in step 4. And finally the total movements on the cylinder column for which we have to design the cylinder column will be calculated in step 5. Right? Next is the biaxial bending check. By this chart we have to check for the biaxial bending. We have to calculate the alpha n value and MUX1 and MUY1 from this chart value and this will be should be okay finally the calculation of steel number of bars and corner reinforcement and mirror reinforcement and finally the step 8 is the design of the lateral ties rules for spacing this is the design summary we will get by this press sheet and this is the detailing part we also get now let's start we have to put our data that column depth is 450 in this case column width is 300 mm LEX is 6 meter, LEY is 5.5 meter, FCK is in our case is F30, we have to choose, FY is 415, PU 1600, MX1 at the top is 45, MX2 is 30, MY1 is 40, MY2 is 25, and clear cover is given as 50 mm right so we have put our data now we will check that the sheet is given that lex by d value is 13.33 right this is the long column if it is greater than 12 this is the long column le y by b that is 5.5 divided by 300 this is 18.33 this is the long column right next it has already calculated the max and may value by this formula ex eccentricity is calculated right this is 40 mm ey is calculated max is pu into ex this is 64 kilonewton meter and 80 kilonewton meter now we have to calculate the puz so we have to assume the percentage of steel in case of cylinder column we have to assume between these two values so if we assume suppose three percent so you can see the ag ag is given b into d ASC is percentage we have assumed 3% of AG this is mm square and AC area of concrete is total AG minus ASC this is AG minus ASC is this much so now we have to put our data in this the PZ, PUZ is calculated 3028.39 by this formula value of PBX now to calculate the PBX we have to find D dash by D and D dash by B so it has been calculated this is 0.11 so from table 60 for the cylinder compression member so we are choosing a rectangular so point triple one we can go for the higher value is 0.15 so we have to choose the k1 value for this and k2 value from this table right so k1 is if you choose 0.15 k1 is 0 0.196 you can see and k2 k2 value you have to choose the kt value from this value so 0 0.167 you can round off it to 0 0.2 from 0 0.2 and we are choosing rectangular equal reinforcement in four sides so this is 415 is our 
reinforcement grade 0.028 0.028 okay. so you can see the pbx is calculated by this formula 805.14 kN same for pby d dash by b is 0.67 you have to go for higher value 0 0.20 so 0 0.20 this is for rectangular this is 0 0.184 0 0.184 and k2 value 4.15.203 now you can see that pbx and pby is calculated now the reduction factors kx and ky by this formula it should be less than 1 it's been calculated and final max value is kx kx is the reduction factor multiplied by max is calculated 0 0.64 so it will be less 41.12 and may final ky the ky value calculated and may is already calculated 80 so it will be multiplied then 52.35 is calculated right so we have find max final and may final right initial moments initial moments comes from the structure you can see that we have already given in the question that mx1 values at the top is 45 ma mx2 is 30 my1 is 40 and y2 is 25 so by this formula initial moment mux1 is calculated 0.6 mx1 minus 0.4 mx2 15 km same for muy1 is calculated initial moments from consideration of minimum eccentricity we have to consider the minimum eccentricity by this formula in the code l by 500 plus d by 30 so ex is calculated 27 mm and ey is 21 mm so mux1 is pu into ex this is 43 kN. This is the initial moment. Initial moment for consideration of minimum eccentricity. Mu y1 is 33. So we have to take the value of final initial moment from this value 15 or 43, whichever is greater, right? So mu x1 final greater of the above two value. This is 43, and mu y1 final is 33. It has been already taken, right? Now the total moment on cylinder column for which we have to design the cylinder column is mu x total is max final this is max final 41.12 plus mux that is initial moment final that is final moment 43.20 so these two will be add up so 84.32 is the mux total we have to design for this much and muy total is 85.95 so we have calculated in step 5 the total moments on mux and muy right so we have to check for the biaxial bending check so mux by mux1 to the power alpha n plus mu y upon mu y1 to the power of alpha n should be less than equal to 1 then it is okay so this is being calculated alpha n value is 1.547 mu x1 value by this chart 45 chart number 45 you can see pu by fck by bd by lies you you will calculate this one and p by fck you can calculate by this one and from this table we will find the value of mux1 i have already calculated so i have put the all value is 0.11 for this chart 45 sp16 and for this muy1 we have to check for chart 46 of sp16 so for this value of mu this muy1 upon fck bd square is 0.1 so these values calculated right 200 or 1 so we we have to check for this this is less than one so okay de design is safe now you can see that we have assumed pt provided three percent asc required is this much minimum reinforcement is 0.8 percent of ag so we have to take the whichever is higher so 4050 mm is the asc required area of the steel longitudinally right so corner reinforcement we have to assume the bar dia trial and error if you are assuming for the corner reinforcement 25 mm and if you are choosing four numbers so you can see that four numbers and for the middle reinforcement if you are assuming suppose 20 mm so you need to go for higher 6.65 you need to for the even eight numbers so you can see the total ast provided is double four seven four so required is 4050 and hence it is okay and pt provided is 3.31 that is okay right you have to assume the bar dia for the corner or the middle reinforcement and assume the number of the bar right for the corner reinforcement is supposed to be four so balance will be provided by the middle reinforcement right so next is the design of the lateral ties it has already been done the steps are die of the tie 6.625 
have that i6 whichever is higher is to be taken rules for spacing is least letter dimension 16 times or smallest letter dimension and 3 and uh, whichever is minimum so now provide 8 mm ties 3 and mm center to center so this is the design summary it has already been calculated this is the section section aa which this is the letter tie dia and this is provide 4 mm 25 mm and 8 20 mm right by this section you can see in the detailing part clear cover is 50 mm 4 this is the longitudinal bars 4 25 mm and 8 20 mm by this and provide 8 mm tire so friends if you like this video if you want this extra sheet please mail me or whatsapp me on my whatsapp number and this is the way you can see that long column can be designed easily and very quickly thanks for watching